Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Joining Special me guest, today baby. is my boyfriend, Max Brown. <laughs> Brown with an E what at up, the end. YouTube? Don't ever forget the E, it's hey. a sin. And I'm excited because we're gonna do a boyfriend tag video. And if you follow my Instagram, you were able to submit questions so that Max and I could answer them for the video today. So I think we should just dive in. She has like 40, she's got like a good there's 20 a, screenshots. There's a ton. Any, wait, any last words before we begin? Game on. Okay, where was our first date? First date was at Chipotle. Wait, oh, Chipotle was, Mexican Grill. What were you gonna say, say? Three, two, one. We should both say it, uh, but we would. We'll do. You the, next. the same thing. Yeah, right? we just the same thing. It was Chipotle fo fo uh, followed really by really romantic a movie. I know what you're thinking. Your first date, Max asked you out to dinner and took you to Chipotle. Don't worry, this is not what happened. He's it better was, than that. Yeah. What happened was we had been hanging out. So like when we first started dating, dating, we were a thing. We were a thing at this time. We were hanging out all the time he lived down the street from me at usc we both were there for summer practice and we both like didn't really have class so we both knew we had nothing to do mm -hmm. so it was this awkward like we were either hanging out with each other or like i was doing nothing by myself <laughs> we wanted to be around each other the whole time but we also were like in the crush phase where you can't be around each other like every single yeah. hour but we both knew each other had nothing to do so yeah. it was a, uh, so hanging out all day hey want to grab dinner Ended up being Chipotle. Yeah, that I was, was like, I'll go change and come back, and we'll just go to Chipotle. So that is how that happened. She wore the uh, army green, or yes, is that I wore, proper I terminology? Wore an, the I army wore an green, olive green dress. Olive green, there you go. And Max looked into my eyes and said, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> hey, I'm romantic. I'll never forget it. Um, okay, next question. What did you first notice about Vic? <laughs> so she always gives me shit for this, or crap, sorry. Because I loved her, like, build and when you say that word it's terrible because like a masculine word but i loved how athletic she was she had muscular legs she wasn't like dainty and skinny and it's, like and it's like funny frail. how he loves that yeah. about me when like at the time i thought i looked hideous but it was that paired with like unreal smile still has it today unreal the uh, face everything but that especially with like he hey this, this chick looked like she played sports he, i love that he, still love that he loves me uh, looking probably at, should go like this yeah but he, he loves me being athletic so he we need to get her back that. in the weight room though. now i love to be muscular i do but it's just hard to lift you know when someone's not making you do it every day at 7 a.m oh my god this one is from my mom <sighs> Let's go, lady. Who encouraged you to accept a date from Let's Max? go. Let's go. <laughs> My mom. Tell him. Tell him. So I actually, this is a, such a longer story than it is, but I actually like wasn't into Max at first. I thought he was so fun, so hilarious. I loved hanging out with him, but I didn't like feel it. Datey vibes. Wasn't Talked enough of a punk for her. I, oh, yeah. I liked I, I wanted, too nice. I wanted a guy who was going to treat me terribly. No, I'm just kidding. And Max was too nice. But low-key, true. After I had talked about this Max kid, this whatever guy, my mom was like, you need to go on a date with him. Just go on one date. If you don't like it, you don't ever have to call him again, but just go. One What's day, the worst that can happen? Give him a shot. So thank you, Never mom. Look back. I appreciate that. The next question, how long have we been together? <laughs> what? Like, I had dinner with my cousins last night. They were asking me and I hesitated for a sec. It's been three and a half years. Yeah, a three little and a half more. Years. more we, yeah. We right. are yes. We are <laughs> I'm off the hook. Yes. We started dating in July of 2016. 20, 2016. 2016. So it's 2020. So you would think like four years, but it's where we celebrate our anniversary in July. So we still have a few more months till the four year mark. Mm -hmm. But a long time. Yeah. And we first, or I first saw her, we first met the summer of 2015. So I've known her for even longer. Was it love at first sight? Yes. <laughs> no, yes. No, yes. Okay. Like hard no, hard yes. I don't even remember. And it gets back to the first I question. Like, I remember the first time I saw her, I was like, that girl is beautiful. That girl is the hottest girl I've ever seen. Oh. Sign me up. Uh, <laughs> and it took a good, what? I guess like full year later, but. I don't even yeah. know. Max claims we met at this one party and I don't remember it, but. You gotta be no, clear. Not I, because she was intoxicated. Not because I was Because I hard. just was some average Joe that had <laughs> well, nothing special to it was offer literally, and does not remember. This it. is actually wild though, you guys. It was the first ever party I attended at college. It was in the summer. The first party I ever went to as a USC student, I met Max, supposedly. He says. Yep. Oh yeah, I remember it. <laughs> was it hard being in a relationship and being a student athlete at the same time? No, it's easier. Yeah, I, I, way easier. especially at the same school, like you totally respect and understand each other's schedules. Like when they're on the road, 
or when they have games or when you're tired, you have practice, you have yeah. to sleep early. And one of our biggest, one of the biggest ways we bonded was over our sport. We actually had competition battles uh, yeah. at our position uh, at the same time. So that was something that was like, I don't know, meaty to talk about. That wasn't just like, oh, what's your favorite color? That kind of stuff. Yeah, for and that sure. Was, uh, that was the way we bonded. And it was fun, like that first fall for me, like going to volleyball games, like yeah. being an ath athletic person. Oh, you like, know that why, was a blast. But you know why it was good? Is because we had both had fall sports. True. What, I, would, it, what would it have been like if I, you had spring? Yeah, I think if one of us was fall and one was spring, it would be a bummer because like all year round, it would be like in season. But see, like, I, I, I see that, but I almost disagree. Like, if you were spring, you would have gone to all my games. Yeah, um, that's true. I, like, it would have been more fun. I, I only was I probably able to, been able, able to travel person. to some of your games. Yeah, I don't At the end of the day, if you're both athletes, you both get you're, the time commitment. You get it. Like you're yeah. both trying to get to bed. You're not trying to party on like a Wednesday night. Yeah. So, so I don't think that it was. It was, it, awesome. was it worked for us. Okay, we got a lot. <laughs> I see now. Yeah. Hey now. We got a lot yeah. of questions about when we're getting married. Marriage anytime soon. When are you gonna put a ring on it? When is marriage? Wedding. And then one of them was, do you talk about? marriage we did talk about it yeah we do when did we both come to the real life? well it's when funny it's really not like a huge topic for us something we like yeah, have we, to address we really know we're gonna be with each other <laughs> yeah we're both that way when did we get to that point because i remember early on quick. i knew like yeah. this is my person i want to be with him forever but you're it's too early on to say it right you can't say like i love you forever yeah. it's just like creepy yeah. so i didn't but when did we get to the point where we both it's like not it's, it's a non-issue i don't even second guess like when we talk about marriage in the future I knew it early on too. I was like, cause like we didn't, both of us didn't date that much. Like, yeah, we I mean, halfway through Pittsburgh when we had done long distance for a good six months. But even then, like I knew before that, like I feel like my senior year of college was when we got to the real point of like, I guess we're getting married. Maybe a better way to say it is, when did other people not feel weird bringing it up in front of us? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, too. and that was probably like two years because people bring it up in front of us, and it's like not a big deal. It's not like, like they're like, ooh. I, like, yeah, I no. think like a year ago we passed that threshold of like, you know, we pretty much like verbally and emotionally and mentally are on the same page of marriage. I think timing wise, um, I mean, like we don't want to give you specifics, but she doesn't know. We yeah, this is a me thing. Get out of here. It's not you thing. We're still figuring it out. No. Wait, what do you mean? I said we don't want to give you specifics. I'm saying, I can. Who, who, who knows? I can. No, I can. No. You know, like, who knows? She doesn't know. It's, um, it's on me. Yeah, that's Balls true. So court. I don't know, but I also told him not to propose to me until I've told him like I am ready for that. Which like I am literally, guys. Like I'll wake up one day and be like, Oh, what are you right now? Like like sure. And then I'll have other days where I'm like, no, yeah. I don't know, whatever. But we'll figure it out. But the gotta, answer gotta is, keep her guessing. the answer is, uh, yeah. The answer is yeah. Period. No um, do we talk about life plans together? If so, share some, please. I guess that's different. That's about marriage and whatever. But life plans. Um, she got me a really cool Valentine's Day gift. Uh, yeah. It's like this book of eight dates. Oh, it's to your left. To grab it. It's, yeah. it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. So I was. It was a cool gift. I was in therapy. And I never talk about Max in therapy because he's not the root of any of my problems. Love you. But Yet, my, who knows? But my therapist yeah, knows? was like, well, if you guys have such a great relationship, there's this amazing book called Eight Dates, and you guys should read it together. And like each chapter is um wait, let me get oh, okay. Oh here. So you're supposed to go on eight dates with your significant other and in, on each date, this book is written by two psychologists. There's all these guiding questions and things you guys talk about. So the first date is trust and commitment, addressing conflict, intimacy, work and money, family, fun and adventure, growth and spirituality, and dreams. So it tells you like, for this date, you should go somewhere romantic. For this date, you should go somewhere outside. So we did the first one, which was trust and commitment, and that yeah. was really fun. But the original question was, uh... Life plans. Life, life plans. So this book allows us to kind of like talk about stuff and yeah. it's fun. We're aligned with 99, yeah. 98% the good thing percent is of things. His family's in Washington, my family's in California. So it's not like we have this big like East Coast, West Coast decision to make. Yeah. But I'd say for the most part, we're usually on the same page. Loved it. Oh, this one's cute. When was the moment you knew you loved him? Okay. Loved him? So yeah, well, it's, yeah, on, yeah, it's on you. But I want you to answer too. No, nope, I'm out of this one. Um, um for the very first date we have. I just had such a again. huge crush on her. So like when you when that question's asked, it's like, ah, oh, right, yeah, right after the OJ episode. But then that's like, come on now. It's I know, like that's super, how I feel super too. early on. After our very first date, where like I went over to hang out 
and it wasn't a party or a thing where all of our friends were at, I left that night like so giddy and I knew I like way. I want to date this guy. I think yeah. it was super cool. I went home to where she's from like four months into dating, five months into dating, uh, around Christmas time. Yeah. And that was like, okay, now we're like official, official. Well, that gets personal because you, yeah. it's like hometown dates. Home, you, yeah, you, exactly. That's a reference. You bring them to your hometown and I they see brother, where you went to high school. They brothers. meet your family. They see your childhood bedroom. Like, it's just a lot of personal things that you share with someone. And it was cool because we did it back to back. So we started dating in July and then in December, right before Christmas, we went, Baria uh, for like seven days or so yeah, and then Washington around. like right after Christmas for like seven days and It was awesome because like she said we saw each other's hometowns where we eat where we drive that was super cool I, I brought I, that up because that was to me was like all right now. It's like yeah. official like your your friends back home yeah. now it's not it's not this girl that's on a, a phone screen it's a girl yeah. like men in real life so. so I'd say I feel like I knew I loved him like very early on I can't remember the exact moment I could remember though wanting him let's tell them I think I got this question too when did we first say I love you so I remember I knew I loved Max like two months in like I want and I wanted to say it. And you guys, my crazy girls out there can can relate to this. This is a good one. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Comment down below. Is it okay for the girl to say I love you first? Yeah. We talked about this. I don't really know which side I go. I think it's okay. I think it's totally fine. She was more of the camp. The I guy has to do it first. I think it's okay. Like, I'm a feminist. Do what you want to do. Us. I just was insecure about like scaring him away because like ladies you've got to play a little hard to get max came out guns blazing and it took me a year to see past it because i knew i could have him so i like you know i didn't love that i wanted a little chase um yeah i don't have the incredible good looks to really uh okay <laughs> play those games um but no, that was the but, funny part is because a couple months into us dating I felt the the L word. She felt the L word, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to. I didn't want to scare oh, off. I thought okay. I was, it was way too yeah, early. Yeah. Okay. Way wait. Too let's early. let's tell them everything. So it was like two months in, two three months in. So like literally like ten weeks, and I knew it. And so, like I was just gonna say to my crazy girls out there, I was setting up situations that in my head were the perfect time to say it. We'd be like stargazing and I would just like look into his eyes like- and I was just taking it, taking it all say in. It, say it, yeah. Or, or we would be like walking and I would just like look at him like, you know, like this Can't is the time. It. Gotta yeah. come, come natural. I was totally like trying to set it up for him. And so in my head, every single time we hung out, I was like, okay, I'm setting it up for him to say it. And he like never said it. All the while in my head, I'm like, Bro, you can't say it two months in. That's way too early. Way too early. You gotta wait till six months. Which is you can't scare her off. Like you don't want to be that guy. Six months. You don't want to be that guy. Like I love you. Like, which no, is which no. is why I and I think that's so funny knowing that now because I thought at the time like oh my god he just doesn't love me. But so tell them how you but first said I love you. Yeah, <laughs> we got a little debate. It was kind of going back and forth. We never like argue that much, but like a little bickering. And, it was. Uh, let me set the scene. We were hanging out late at night. And you know when it's like nighttime and you have like deep combos? So we were having a deep combo. Max was getting ready to pick up, pack, and move to Pittsburgh to play his grad transfer senior year. And I was staying at USC. So there's just a lot going on. And also, I think we started to get a conversation about me saying you weren't expressive enough. And I, I was, was like, and I was he, like, he never said it. a great day. It was he, like, everything was totally fine. Just, I don't know, we're chilling. You know, everything's been fine. We got to pick a fight at the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> But she, she was um, like, you don't, you don't express your feelings enough. And I was like, he never said right, things like, like he never said things like, I really care about you. Or it's been so great to have you by my actions. side during this tough time. Like he never expressed yeah, how I meant to him. And meanwhile, I'm also getting pissed that he hasn't said he loved me. So like, of course, I'm like, you never tell me how you feel. So then anyways. And I acknowledged that. I was like, all right, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. And then that escalated more. Where, like I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'll be better. But that wasn't, that wasn't enough. And that then wasn't we sufficient. And then I kind of got talking about life and I was like da 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 and I freaking love you and I was like oh yeah. I said that and I was like it paused for like a half second I was like sorry and then he her, was like sorry her, he goes like face, I didn't mean to say that I was like up. no you did mean to say it up. I love you too and I had no idea that was like the whole her whole goal of this whole <laughs> yeah. thing was to try to get me to say that and then the mood totally changed she was happy and yeah I was pumped it was really laugh, cute was he was like stressing about something and he was like well I gotta move to Pittsburgh I have a pack blah, 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 and I freaking love you so I don't really and so it was it was so cute. It couldn't have been like more natural. And then I was like, no, I love you too. Um yeah, so that's how we said it. It was cool. I still kind of do. Mm, me too. <laughs> Did either of you have any red flags about the relationship? I 
will be honest, yeah. if the there were no actual red flags, but when Max wasn't expressing to me like how he felt, I remember like asking one of his friends about it, and one of the friends said like, "Oh, Max like isn't really good at expressing his feelings. Max doesn't express his feelings at all." And so then I had this panic of like, "Oh my gosh, I'm about to like date a guy who like will never express anything to me," which was so false. Max is so expressive yeah. of his feelings. Like I don't, I don't know. know why he said that to me. It was because you were hyping the whole thing up. I was just, I was fine. It wasn't like I was just like, nope, yeah. can't share no, feelings no. ever. He's, like, no, I was totally normal. I just wasn't like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I love you so much. Like, no, it's yeah. just, we were just like, so having, I guess I out. thought in the beginning, I was like, oh no, like that's going to be a bummer, but it didn't end up being true. So I, but I didn't have a red flag. Did you have a red flag? You can be honest. Can you know, I scare I'm, you? I'm the guy with the year long crush before the relationship. There was no red flag. Yeah. I was totally bought in. Yeah. I, I have a question. Were you ever nervous about, everything that I was going through, like mental health, like about to give a TED talk on depression and anxiety, like recovering from food issues. Like, no. like I guess I always wonder that like guys, Max was there. Max and I were dating when I still cared about like Instagram and all that stuff. We call that old Vic <laughs> when I was old Vic. Did you ever feel like that was a lot for you? No, I think I always saw like your heart and stuff. So I always knew, I don't know, I never was worried. I, I guess check that. I still worry about you, like checking in on you, like making sure that you're okay, but I yeah, don't- Yeah, but that's a lot for you to start dating someone and she's like, I'm coming forward with all these stories and like I've been struggling and I'm still yeah. therapist. No, I think I like had my whole football- A real one, ladies. Yeah, I had all my football shit going on, so- Yeah. I wasn't, I don't know. We were like in it together, right? It was yeah. something we like bonded over. I think that whole mental side of things is something that like was a positive rather than a negative. A negative. Yeah. The next question is, if you guys have babies, what would you name them? No. We can't give them this. She, she is a liability, because she loves talking about this we stuff, like, down the road. A, and then she'll, like, give people hints, but, like, we all know how the game, like, we have you give someone a few. hint, and they just go down, like, the baby, like, and, Yeah, you know, we have like, a few thoughts, but no, nothing specific, and nothing I'm allowed to say. So just, you better keep following us into our adulthood life, so you can find out. I know. That's why you guys gotta, you gotta back me in the comments, so she puts me more on here, you know? I will put you more on here. Okay, the next is how do we take such good pictures together? That's funny because we don't think we take good pictures we don't together. Yeah, yeah, you guys seen this? I have a scar down the middle of my head. I know, they're probably yeah. gonna wonder. That's yeah. not a question here, but <laughs> let's just tell them how you haven't got a scar. Max got the flu. He didn't eat all day. He got up to get food at like four and he fainted and face planted, yeah. falling out of an elevator in a hotel. scar looking, yeah. It's looking better in real life. I don't, I can't see it from here. We what was get, the question? You had to get, I asked the question of how'd you get your scar. But, oh, before that. Before that it was, um, how do we take such good pictures together? Oh. All right, the more you take pictures with someone, you get like used to it. My smile sucks to no. start with, but it, it's My, getting better. Guys so, like, always have issues with pictures. They don't know how to smile. They do this like. I guess check that. Guys in pictures, it's like straight face and they go. I taught Max and my brothers. I said, when you see a picture, just do a fake laugh like a. <laughs> But like and it's so hold. much easier said than done. Max was number four for football, oh. and you were number four for this volleyball. This question down here, don't get her on this tangent. What? Am are I... you Greek? Yes, I'm Greek. Yes, I am I'm Greek. Greek. <laughs> I, am, I am Greek. My favorite dishes are X Y Z. Why? I love you... this restaurant. You know what? I'm proud of my heritage. Okay. <laughs> I Why love you it. Why are you me for that? No, it's just funny because anyone tells me, uh, anyone, anytime anyone brings it up, like grocery store, oh, are you Greek? I notice a Greek flag. Oh, yep, I'm Greek. Yeah, here we go. Yes, go so Greek. Greek yeah. beacon. Being Greek is freaking sick, okay? Is, and I'm proud of it, and I'm 50%. I'm probably less, but I refuse to take one of those tests to prove that I'm 50 less. 50%, you round up? Yeah. I'm Greek. But <laughs> yeah. I'm practically exactly. 100%. But my mom is 100%, her parents are 100%. Her parents are straight off the boat from Ellis Island, so I'm very Greek. Thank you, Max. The best thing about each other. I will go first. Max, what? <laughs> you worried? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Max is just the greatest human being I've ever met. He's just a good guy. He's patient and he just has like the best disposition. Patience. That word patience seems to come up more and more uh, <laughs> as we you're get patient farther with along me. in this relationship. I have, I'm kind of on an emotional roller coaster often and Max is always very patient with me. But back to my favorite thing about Max is just, he's just a great, great guy. Like, I don't think there's a human on the earth that has met Max and hung out with him for more than five minutes that would say, you're not a great guy. I'm lucky. Knows, I'm sure there's I have, I have enemies out there. People don't like me, but everyone loves Max. 
Vic is awesome. Um, I don't have as crisp of an answer, but whenever someone asks me this, there is not a human on this earth that is filled with more love than Vic Garrick. Everything she does, whether it's the content with you guys and helping the world, changing the world, going on speaking tours, all that, or if it's when she's talking to her mom or talking to me, um, everything is rooted in love. She, if, uh, she has high expectations at, at times, but it's yeah. only because there's like so much, to, so much love to give, so much love to take in. Um, and I just, I love that. And it's rooted in literally all aspects of your life, whether it's us, whether it's your relationships with others, whether it's your content, whether it's your business and Maybe, your work, it's great. Thank you. Maybe that's why you're so patient with me because you know I'm crazy, totally. but you know I'm also crazy it's for always, reasons it's I think always are rooted right. in something, yeah. Yeah. Like when you get frustrated or something, it's always you're like frustrated because you think it could be like better or something like that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. What is the biggest fight we've ever had? Oh, this is easy. It's, yeah. What? What is it? It's a subject. Oh, gifts? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fights is so strong. We get in arguments. Arguments. Do you, the want to, do you want to dive into this or not on YouTube? I don't care. How about this? This is probably a video for a different time. Here's what we'll say. <laughs> I grew up in a family this, this that was. This thing is yeah, a whole video. Yeah. No, a different like. Uh, okay, our biggest subject. arguments. Every argument we've ever had is probably over just the exchange of gifts, which is sounds, sounds stupid, stupid, but it's also like my love language. Okay, tell them what you're gonna tell them. It's a good point. I grew up in a household that was like a one or two in terms of gifting. It's not that my family was mean or anything like that. Just gifts were not a huge part of everything. Like we did Christmas, we did Santa, but like birthdays, it wasn't like this extravagant like thing. If it was Max's birthday at the Brown House, he probably got a card and maybe a gift and a See, piece that, of cake. This is where the arguments come in. I got a full cake. My parents got me a gifts. Uh, got me gifts, but it wasn't like my brothers were like making special trips to the mall like okay, that wasn't here. a thing Why my don't parents you explain, got me you explain what a birthday was like and then i'll explain what our birthday was like that way i'm not being biased and okay assuming. i'll finish it though the garricks are what i would think a nine or a ten and so there's a discrepancy there that i of just expectations my and family like, my family could be more and should be more for sure but they're also kind max of also <laughs> thinks my family could be less but i think my family is normal but here's the thing my like birthdays in my household, it was like you wake up, like everyone in the house has gotten up 45 minutes early to like sit there and have People breakfast are with you. Over there's it confetti like... on the table, there's balloons, there's your favorite breakfast, there's presents. You go to school, everyone's texting you. You're my godmother, my, you know, we're Greek. Maybe that's why I'm hating on my Greek. This is Greeks no. celebrating. My, I get to school, my friends, and also I'm a girl, so I think there's a difference there. My friends will have presents and balloons for me, and then I get home, and it's Which still- Which I have like, no problem with any of this yeah, at all. I get home, and we still have a birthday dinner, and like, it's just a big thing. Like, gifts and thought, and and even my whole life, my I have an older and a younger brother, and they're boys, but like, every holiday, we're getting each other gifts, like, and spending money on each other, and it's a big deal. Whereas, for the Browns, um, it's and the, not. the argument comes with me is when people are getting their feelings hurt or there is stress involved in trying to meet a certain standard. When my family, yes, we didn't do gifts, but we never had like... The long story short is our biggest arguments are usually over like... a lot of hands. Yeah. I just noticed that in the last chat. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I like your hands. They're, they're so funny. You should watch Max pet a dog. It's like... Hey, everyone's... <laughs> my friends are on my case. She's on my case. He never grew so up with a dog. Like a, a okay, at this time, we should probably say... Goodbye. Well, uh, you can't not do the hands of I'm doing the hands. hands. At this time, we should say goodbye. Ooh. Thank that was you. Slick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love it if you got updates every Monday when I upload a video. And also, if you enjoyed Maxwell just as much as I do on the daily, throw him a follow on Instagram. Ooh. Say what's up. And drop a comment if uh, you want to see more of this scar, forehead, <laughs> LeBron hoodie, whatever. If you want more couple videos, appearance. we're down. And also, you can follow me at Victoria Garrick. And Max Brown. And I'm having a podcast episode coming out soon with Max where we talk about his football career and more on our relationship. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Real Pod on iTunes and Spotify. Thanks so much for watching this video and we will see you guys in our next couple of video. Who knows when that will be? But thank you for watching and have a good one. Our fights are usually over gifts, and if you guys are really interested, we can make a whole video about all of the fights we've ever had about gifts. We're happy to do it. I, we, but we should do that and go like uh, yes, birthday, birthday, and have everyone yes. comment who was in the right, who was in the wrong. Okay.
Oh, we can keep score. Okay, if you're down, let us know. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Because <laughs> I feel like I would win. She Actually, would, you would win because your fans have your backing, but I will at least be able to... Yes, let's go. <laughs> I would at least be able to voice my side of it.